Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to crack on with the program here in the main arena. We've got some more fantastic agility for you, and this time it's the novice dogs. First of all, though, we do need a judge. He's um, competed and judged both here in the UK extensively and also abroad. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Lee Gibson. So this is the Kennel Club Novice Cup and it's one agility round and we're going to be looking for an overall winner. And as you can see, the jumps are on the small height and we have eight small dogs for you here today. And first to go is Julie Ashton with Eventide Ziva. So all our competitors are going to be looking to go fast and clear. They've already walked the course, so they already know the route. They need to get the touch points, the white bits on the A-frames. So across through the collapsible tunnel, round into the pipe tunnel. Turning right onto the dog walk again, must hit the white bits on each end. Gets that very nicely. So all the dogs you're seeing here have qualified to be here. And they did that back in August in 2014. So two to go. Well done, it's a clear round. Well done, 40.090 is the time. Well done, Julie, that takes you into first place. Okay, so next to go is Carol Dawson. And this is off my at four sticks. Just picking up five faults there on the first jump. So you'll see our judge putting his hand in the air and uh, that will indicate a fault. So the dog picks up five faults for a dropped pole. So into that pipe tunnel, we've got that turn on the wall. Onto the dog walk. Gets the contact. Now the seesaw must hit the ground before the dog leaves it. Make sure that happens into those weaves. Very nicely through there. So five faults and a time of 44.757. Well done. Okay, so Susan, Susan Mathias is next with Professor Lupin. And we're off, so turning right, possibly a little bit wide there on number two, into the tunnel. Swapping sides there through that collapsible tunnel. Now remember the dog can't see where he's going once he's in that collapsible tunnel. Oh, we just saw those weeds, but we're okay. Round right hand side of that brick wall onto the dog walk. It's a happy little dog. Nicely over that. Down to the pink jump, the Ukanuba jump. Is this, did I get it? Yep, I think so. Into the weave poles. And two to go. Well done, Susan. 49.515 is the time. So next to go is Helen Roberts with Bing Bong Bella. So turning right into the tunnel. Gets the contact on the A-frame, that's a good turn off the A-frame through the collapsible tunnel. 
into the pipe tunnel. Onto the dog walk. Gets the contact. Onto the seesaw. Gets that. Into the weaves. Now they must go into those weaves with the first pole on their left shoulder. We're nicely through there. Come on, Helen, we need a quick finish. Well done. 44.819 on a clear round. Well done. So, next to go. This is Janice Beresford with Sporticus Tigger, Agility Warren Silver. And we're off. So down to number two. Up and over that A frame. Got a lot to say for herself. Now as we go down into the collapsible tunnel. Into the pipe tunnel. And on to the dog walk. Oh, missed that, unfortunately, then took the wrong course. So just picks up an elimination there by taking the wrong course. As you can see, little Tigger doesn't know she's been eliminated, so she's going to enjoy the rest of the course. Well done, Janice. So Mike Hallam is next on the line. And this is Rayanne's showgirl. So over number three. She's just checking out the crowd, making sure that everybody's watching her. She goes round over the A-frame. Come, come, come. Go through, go through. Very suspicious people sitting there. Round over the long jump. Oh dear. Just lost her foot in there, but she's okay. Got to turn right on that wall, up and over that dog walk. Still got to get that contact, which she does very nicely. So turning left onto the seesaw. Keep going. Little tip. There you go. Well done. Into those weaves. You've got three to go, Mike. That's it. Two to go. Come on. Come on, it. Oh, well done, well done. 57.845 is the time. Just picking up time forts there, but well done, Mike. Okay, next to go is Mary Perks. And this is Fuddy Duddy Buddy, Agility Warrant Silver. This looks like a speedy little chap. So, on to the A-frame. Turning right, that's a good turn there, down to the collapsible tunnel, got to keep him out. Oh, just manages it. Over the long jump, into the tunnel. This is a quick little dog. On to the dog walk. Finds that, it's got to get that contact. Oh, I don't think our judge could have missed that one. That was a little bit blatant. So, we're on five faults, on to the seesaw. No, he can't be bothered to wait for that to tip either. So picks up another five there, but it's a lovely finish. Ten faults, well done. Thirty-nine point oh four seven. Okay, the last dog to go in the small heights. This is Pimpinella's pastiche, very posh name, and this is Mandy Trendle. So Mandy making sure she's in a good position there. Get a nice turn on number two into the tunnel. Over the A-frame. That's another good turn there into the collapsible tunnel. Oh, oh there you are. He says, gosh, it was dark in there. Through the tunnel. Nicely over the dog walk. 
Gets the seesaw, makes sure it tips so. Into those weave holes. Two to go. And a flying finish. Well done. 50.467. Well done. OK, so the jumps are going up now to medium height. So if you're new to agility, you may not know that um, all the dogs get measured and they get put into a height category of either small, medium or large. And the equipment gets adjusted accordingly. So I'm going to take the opportunity to thank our sponsors for Crufts. That's you, Canuba. They're the main official sponsors. And uh, without any of our sponsors, we really couldn't hold these events. So we are eternally grateful to them. So I think our judge is just going to do a final check. Make sure that he's happy. It looks like he is. And we're ready to go then. So we're on to the mediums. We have six of these for you. So we will end up with a winner in each height. After this event, ladies and gentlemen, the agility isn't over. We've got more agility throughout the day for you. And also lots of uh, fantastic demonstrations and events here in the main arenas. But make sure you come down early because the seats go really, really quickly. So, Francisca Albissa is next. And this is Little Moon's Yana of Basile. So, into the tunnel. Gets the A-frame. So, all the same rules apply. They must get the contact points, must go into the weaves with the first pole on their left shoulder. And even though the course is exactly the same, we will end up with three different winners. Oh, unfortunately, just picking up an elimination there for taking the wrong course. Oh, she says, I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm going to get as many jumps in as I possibly can. So, well done. Over the final jump. Well done. So next to go, this is Chantel Carita with Lico Satiria, my Sunseeker. Agility Warrant Bronze. So very nicely into the tunnel. Gets that, turns right into the collapsible. Got to push them out there to pick up that jump. Oh, just gets five faults there. That's a refusal, so five faults. Gets the contact very nicely. Oh, she was looking at that jump, unfortunately. So does pick up an elimination for taking the wrong course. So Chantal's just going to finish off the course there. And over the final jump, well done. Unfortunately, just picking up an elimination for uh, number 12. So next to go is Rachel Chisnell. And this is Wilfred the Wizard. So down through the tunnel. Nicely over the A-frame. Turns right into the collapsible. Oh, he's looking at the weaves. Oh, lovely weave entry, but unfortunately we didn't want it then. So that does mean an elimination. Again, for taking the wrong course. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember there's lots and lots of things to do here at Crufts. If you sp fancy spending your money and buying early Christmas presents, there's some great stands in all of the halls. Um, there's the rescue organisations and also, obviously, the kennel club stand as well. 
Okay, so next to go. This is Annabelle Stoat and Jumping Jalapeno. This looks like a, a staffy to me. So into the tunnel, onto that A frame. Very nicely over there. Oh, says hello. That was a little bit of a detour there just to meet the public, you know. Got to do your meet and greet, haven't you? So, only wasted time though, so no faults incurred as we go over the dog walk. Very nicely down to the bottom of that. Round onto the seesaw. Left into those weave poles. Oh, wonderful. Two to go. Come on, we need a quick finish. Well done. 42.494 is the time. Well done. That actually looks like it goes into first place. Well done. So, Christine Hicks is next. This is Uphill Flyer. And uh, this is the second to last dog to go in the mediums, and then we'll be on to the large. So, into the tunnel. Nice over the A-frame, turning right. Oh, that's a good turn there into the collapsible tunnel. Oh, just taken out the long jump, so that does incur five faults. Oh, misses the dog walk. Picks up another five. So we're on ten faults at the moment. Sometimes you sacrifice speed, uh, you sacrifice accuracy for speed, unfortunately. But over the final jump, well done, it's ten faults and a cracking time. 36.208. So, next on the line. This is Stephen Sutherland and Fan Diggy Dash. So, turning right into that tunnel there. He's got to beat a time of 42.494 with a clear round to go into the lead. So, into the tunnel. Turning right onto the dog wall. Gets that, oh, just looked at the jump, but we're okay. So, we're on 28, 30 seconds. As we go into the last three obstacles. Safely through there, he's got two to go. Wow, 40.202, well done, Stephen. As you can see, that goes into first place, well done. So, the jumps are going up again, and now we're on to the large. So our ring party are doing a fantastic job. Just making sure that everything is at the right height for the large dogs. Our judge just doing his final check. And our timers. Just checking the timing equipment. This is a proper competition, ladies and gentlemen, so we need to make sure that everything is absolutely, absolutely correct. Um, and obviously, with the different heights of dogs, the timing gates just have to be amended to ensure that they uh, pick up the different heights of dogs. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go. So we're on to the large. First to go is Connie Sellers and Flintstone Flyer. 
We've got 10 dogs in this height category, all qualifying from the KCI Festival. That's the Kennel Club International Agility Festival in August. So that's a good turn there into the collapsible. Connie running down to get, push out on that far jump there. Into the tunnel. Nice turn there onto the dog walk. Through the tyre, down to the Yukonoob jump, onto the seesaw. Gets that. Turns left into those weaves. Very nicely through there. Come on, Connie, you got two to go. Well done. 39.047 is the time. Well done. Okay, next to go is Helen Anderson and Delanor Dark Agent. So I'm sure we'll see Helen later on with her other dog in uh, some of the medium competitions we've got lined up for you this weekend. But this is her novice dog. So, turning right over the long jump into the tunnel. So, on to the seesaw, very nicely over there, into the weeds. Last two, well done Helen, it's another clear round, 36.442. That goes into the lead. Well done, Helen. Okay, so we're ready for our next handler. This is Ian Harvey with High Spying How. Got to get that contact point, which does very nicely. That's a good turn there. Over the long jump, into the tunnel. Another good turn onto the dog walk. It's that, oh, he's looking at that jump, but we're okay. Down to the Ukanuba jump, onto the seesaw. And into those weaves. Through there, two to go, come on in. Well done, 39.203. That goes into third, well done. Okay, so next to go is Rebecca Patrick. This is Cherry Hog Seek No Further. This is his first time at Crufts and she says he's absolutely mad. So let's see what he makes of uh, Lee's course. So that's a good turn there into the tunnel. Up and over that A-frame. Gets the contact. Turns right into the collapsible tunnel. Over the long jump. Oh, did just look at the wheeze, but we're okay. Round. Oh, that's a good turn on the wall. Oh, no. He saw the tunnel, unfortunately. He's like, what's next, Mum? So just picking up an elimination there for taking the wrong... He likes those tunnels, doesn't he? He says, I'm going to have another go at that. No, he says, I'm definitely going to go in that tunnel. OK. No, it's not happening, Mum. Oh, why didn't you say that? Didn't realise you meant that dog walk. Oh. I can't hang about waiting for it to tip. Goodness me. OK, over the final two jumps. Well done. What a great character. That's vibe.
So we're ready to go with our next handler. This is Natalie Webb with Ava. This is one of the four Belgian Shepherd varieties. So uh, this is a Malinois. And uh, actually, this is a rescue dog. She says she's very nervous, but she does love her agility. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have a rescue dog or a crossbreed, you can still participate in agility. Just need to register your dog on the activities register. So, as you can see, she's absolutely loving this course. Oh, but too much, she's loving her tunnels. That's another one. What a shame, that was going so well. Look, just can't see that dog walk. There it is, well done. So down onto the seesaw, into the weaves. Just making sure uh, she gathers herself in there. Well done, and over the final jump. Well done, Natalie. Unfortunately, just picking up an elimination there. So our ring party, just make sure those uh, weaves are stuck back down. And we're ready to go. So this is Sue Dennison. And this is Cara. Sunwood Caramel Queen is the full kennel club name. And in fact, Sue bred Cara. And uh, this is their first visit to Crufts. So nicely over the A-frame. Oh, she's looking at those weaves. Just manages to get in the tunnel there. Manages to pick the dog walk up. Picks up five on the dog walk. Just missed that contact point. Into the weaves. No, not into the weaves. She's, I'm just going to take a bit of a detour. Finds them, but does pick up five falls in the process. So 10 faults at a time of 38.252. Well done, Sue. OK, so we're ready for our next competitor. This is Nikki Nairn with Ebby. Jack of Alivari Black Agility Warrant Bronze is the full name. And uh, this is also their first time at Crufts. And it's absolutely great to see these novice dogs here. It gives them an opportunity to get used to the big arena, as I'm sure we'll see a lot of these dogs in years to come in uh, some of the higher grade competitions. So down over that long jump into the tunnel. Gets the dog walk very nicely there. Make sure she gets the contacts. Oh, no, it had her name on it, unfortunately. Just spotted that jump as she went across the box there. So that does mean an elimination for taking the wrong course. Well done, Nikki. What a shame. Okay, so next to go, it's uh, Joanna Tidmarsh. And this is Pip, six-year-old Border Collie. South Lawn isn't that a Pip, is her full kennel name. So into the tunnel, up and over that A-frame. Gets that very nicely. That's a good turn there into the collapsible tunnel. We're looking to beat 36.442. Unfortunately, it's not going to be Joe today. Just picking up five faults there for the long jump going down. Onto the seesaw. Or not, as the case may be. There it is. Into the weeds. Very nicely through there. Well done, Joe. Just picking up uh, 10 faults, in fact, and 38.298. 
So, ready to go. Probably with our, long, our youngest competitor, I should imagine, in this competition. So, this is Jack Biddle. He's 11 years old, I believe. So, agility, as you can see, is for all ages. This is Bailey, the working sheepdog. Full kennel name is Endless Possibilities. So Jack may even be in the YKC as well later on. So that's the Young Kennel Club, which encourages young handlers to get involved with dogs and agility and hear work to music and obedience and everything. So we're on to the dog walk. Gets that very nicely. Always got to push back now. Well done, keep going. Well done, on to the seesaw. Gets that. Come on, Jack, you've got three to go. Into those weave poles. Put all those adults to shame. Two to go. Come on, Jack. Yes, well done. 39.968 goes into fourth place. Well done, Jack. OK, so it's the last dog to go in the Kennel Club Novice Cup. This is Kerry Jones. Taser is the dog's name. Rujaf Fate of the Future. Full kennel name. Into the tunnel. We're looking to be 36.442 on a clear round. This looks quick. Just got to keep it together. Into the tunnel. Oh no, the long jump has gone down. Five faults. Like I was saying earlier, sometimes when you try to go faster, you do sacrifice a little bit of accuracy. Into the weave poles. Two to go. Well done, Kerry. It's a great time. 35.678. It was the fastest time, but unfortunately, just picking up five faults there puts you into fifth place. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. We'll very shortly be going on to the presentations. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's presentation time. Club member of the general committee and also chairman of the field trials subcommittee so we're very grateful to him to be presenting our awards today along with Lee Gibson our judge in second place in the small was Helen Roberts with Bing Bong Bella and the winner of the Kennel Club novice small was Julie Ashton and Evan Tide Ziva. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're doing it the other way around, so scratch that. Okay, so we're gonna start with a large. Okay, so in second place was Flintstone Flyer and Connie Sellers. Winner of the Kennel Club Novice 
Large was Helen Anderson and Delanor Dark Agent. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now we're on to the mediums. In second place was Annabelle Stoked with Jumping Jalapeno. And the winner of the Kennel Club and Novice Mediums was Stephen Sutherland with Fan Diggy Dash. So we've already announced them once, but we'll do it again. In second place was Bing Bong Bella and Helen Roberts in the smalls. And the winner of the Kennel Club Novice Smalls was Julie Ashton and Evan Times Eva. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's lap of honour time.